Uh, 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 uh. Oh. These guys are crazy. I just want to be right here, but this branch is dissecting my face. I'm here now. We're struggling to make our intro today because we want to talk about pruning this tree and it hasn't been done. So this thing is just hitting us in the face. Ah. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey there, homesteaders. It is a nice, cool, some sort of day today. Late winter day. Yeah, beauty day. And we have been meaning to do some pruning on our trees and shrubs for a while now, but it's something that has intimidated us a little much. But today we're finally going to tackle this project. Today is the day. And in the kitchen, I am going to be making some no-bake prune brownie things. I feel like I could say like pruned brownies because I'm like putting prunes in them. They're pruned. Yeah. If I threw prunes at you, I'm like pruned, you're pruned, you've been pruned. <laughs> I am going to be making some no bake prune bourbon brownie fudge. Mm, I didn't know about the bourbon time. That yeah. Really excited. I am going to be doing stuff with prunes. More prunes than you can handle. Let's get to this. Yeah. Prune it, stop. Prune it. We're Kaliki and Brett, a rugged and adventurous gay couple who are sick and tired of clashing with life in the city. So we decided to head into the desert to chase our dreams and thrive. Along with our furry friends Chuck and Momo, we'll explore DIY projects, tiny house construction, gardening, hiking, cooking, and share what it looks like to jump headfirst into homesteading. So subscribe and join us on our dusty adventures to build this desert dwelling. We find these all over the place. You see it? You see it? Mm. Beauty. If you know what this is, tell me in the comments below. So, mm. Mm. we've been meaning to prune this tree for a while. It's a Santa Rosa weeping plum tree. I guess we were supposed to do it right when we planted it but i think we did like timidly cut a little bit off when we first planted it because oh yeah but we were like i don't know what to do we cut off just like little this yeah. and that it's nothing but i think neglecting it is hurting it at this point so we're finally gonna do some chopping and this tree tends to blossom a little early because we have kind of a false spring every year so we were hoping having it near this chicken coop would help protect it a little bit and help protect them as well so protect them from the dangerous hawks because we had that scare the other day yeah poor mimi got hawked a little but she's tougher than we thought yeah no worse <laughs> for the wear just a few feathers scattered around the yard and probably a little trauma we don't really know what we're doing but we know we need to do it, so we're gonna just do it. We do know that we don't want branches growing back towards the center of the tree and that overall you want an open trunk for this kind of tree. So hopefully we don't mess this up, but we're gonna just go ahead and get started. So we're taking off this low one and then this one here because it kind of gets in our way when we're doing stuff. Yeah. And then this weird couple right here. So let's start with that. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, already it can breathe a little bit. I think that one you just cut off, actually. I was thinking we were going to keep that one. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay. It's our first time we're learning. Definitely this one, though. This one's in our way. Yeah. got a couple good strong branches that we can encourage to kind of weave and grow out of it. Yeah. And that was kind of a lot, so I think this is... This will be good. I'm excited to see what it'll do, if it'll be stronger this year. Yeah.
All right, well, let's go work on that Viking chokeberry. Let's do it. Look at that man. He's so handsome. So this is a Viking chokeberry shrub. I don't really know. What's is it? With it. Is aronia berry the same thing? That's yeah. what this is also. Yeah, it's a black Viking chokeberry aronia something. Aronia something. That's part of its scientific name too. It's like aronia something, and it's also an aronia berry. Mm. I think it has a bunch of other names, just like all plants do. Something I read was like, trim it at 20 inches. Just that like, seems really short to me. Yeah. So I don't know if I want to do that. Plus it's already starting to like form little buds and I don't think it's great to cut a ton of that off. This branch here is coming over into the other one. Other stalk. Oh, no. <sighs> yeah, we need to get new ones. It's bad. Pruning episode with bad pruning shears. Oh! Oh gosh. I did the worst thing you could do. You don't want to do this. Don't ever do this. <laughs> I just clipped. It didn't quite work. And then I ended up peeling a little bit. I think that's really not a good time yeah. for this. Don't be like us. Use sharp pruning shears. This is what happens when you throw yourself headfirst into homesteading. You <laughs> make mistakes. There's little dead ones I definitely want to get off. Mainly just for the aesthetic of it all. This has got a dead thing here. I want to take that off. This dead bit here. You should cut off this thing that's dead. Get the dead part. Perfect. Right. Did we say anything about that? Like, different reasons for pruning, like, to encourage fruit or just to, like, take away stuff that's dead? I don't think we did say anything like that. Yeah. All of these branches up here are kind of colliding into each other, so I think... I'm gonna take this one off because it's hitting two different other stalks. Now this one's not getting hit by it, or this one. And then... And then... And then... No! No and then! No and then! No and then! No and then! And then... This is colliding in there as well, so I think I'm just going to take that off. Just so when the foliage comes back it has a little room to breathe. I kind of think maybe this one too, what do you think? Which one? Just this one here. Because they're kind of colliding. Yeah, I think it should. Let's get it out of there. I sure hope that's right. It's <laughs> nice. None of the branches are colliding now. I think that looks good. I don't want to go overboard since we're not sure what's going on here. Yeah. All right, let's leave it alone. All right. Well, why don't we go ahead and just watch some birds, I guess. So cute. Woo. Ooh, she mad. Ah. Oh, hi there. We got all these branches here. We're going to cut them up into some smaller pieces and just try shoving them in the ground and seeing if any of them take root and give us new plum trees. Because why not try? It doesn't cost us anything. Okay, we're live. Okay, I'm gonna cut off. They're terrible. Ooh. I wonder if we have. I mean, even just a knife would be better, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna go get a knife. I can't. Just... Do as I say, not as I do. Ah, the spiders everywhere. Always. Momo, you're the naughty. So we went ahead and got the rooting hormone stuff that we have. Oh, good. A pair of scissors that might also be crappy, <laughs> and then this knife, which is pretty sharp. So I'm gonna try it first. Just be careful of the table. Should I? I don't know what to. Mm, I think there's probably a piece of wood or something in here, like a. 
nice and sanitary surface here. <laughs> uh, this isn't good either. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that works pretty good. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. So about six inches, and you want to take the buds off of there, they said, too. Yeah. Because I think if it does start to take root, that'll take too much of the energy from it rooting. Yeah. We don't want it to be trying to make this growth right now. All right. So that's the thing. You want to try the scissors? Yeah, let's try the scissors. I bet they're going to work the best. Beauty. Momo, you're enjoying your wheatgrass? You love it. Most of them, maybe all of them, might not even work. Yeah. Gotta try, though. I mean, the worst that can happen is nothing will happen. Yeah, the worst that happens is we wasted, what, half an hour doing yeah. this. Yeah, and we're entertaining the masses right now, so yeah. it's it's a win-win. A little longer than a few minutes later... Alright, well we're done with all the pruning and planting of the cuttings. Let's head back to the house now. Yeah, and I'll start pruning our dessert. Ah, lame. I'm such a dork. Oh, hi Sadie. Come on in. So today for my pruned brownie fudge bars prune fudge fudgy prune prunies I don't know you start by cooking down some prunes in a syrup consisting of some bourbon some water and a little bit of honey and just let that cook until the prunes have absorbed all the liquid and the liquid is reduced into like a nice thick syrup. While that is working, I am gonna blend up some almonds. Ugh. A bird pooped on the lid because I'm outside. I'm just distracted by that bird pooping on my... Good thing I had a lid on it. Now I've got to go wash that. Got that taken care of, nice and clean. No bird poops on it anymore. Where was I? I'm gonna take about two cups of almonds and pulse them in a food processor until they're a nice fine powder. I didn't get them totally fine, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm also going to chop up some walnuts really coarsely for the top of it. Now my prunes have thickened up in that syrup, and I'm going to put them in the food processor as well. Until it's a nice thick paste. And I'm going to add in some chocolate chips here and stir those around so they melt. Looks like one of them still had a pit in that. We don't want to eat that.
and then I'm going to add in my pulsed almonds. and just slowly mix that in. It's getting really thick, so I'm gonna switch to a spatula instead. So once I've gotten that all mixed up together, I taste it and I think it still needs a little bit more chocolate, so I threw in a little bit of cocoa powder and just get that all mixed up. And now that I have that all mixed up, I'm going to transfer it to a parchment lined cookie sheet. I just put a little bit of vegan butter on my fingers so my fingers don't stick to the top. So now that I've gotten that all pressed out to a fairly even layer, I'm going to sprinkle on my chopped walnuts and just press those all in. Now it's pretty much done, I just have to let it cool for a while, so I'm going to pop that in the freezer for probably about 30 or 40 minutes and then cut it up into more little bite-sized pieces and we can test it out. Well, I'm glad we finally got this pruning done. We've been meaning to do it for so long and it's finally done. Yeah. Hopefully we did a good job. Yeah, hopefully. We'll see. We'll find out. I mean, will we really, though, even know if it's good or bad? I mean, we'll know if we killed it or not. <laughs> <laughs> and I really hope these little cuttings we did are going to happen. I think they will. Yeah, I mean, out of the, what, like 50 that there are, hopefully... Yeah. I mean, it's probably what? not 50. At least, like, 25. I don't know. I think there were, like... My guess is 30 of the plum tree, and then there were eight, I think, of the Viking choke cherry. Yeah. Choke berry. Anyway. Anyway. Let's try these fun little candy bar brownie party chunk delights. Yeah, pruned brownies. They look like little candy bars. It's yeah, nice. I was thinking they look and probably are going to taste a lot like those mm. Lara bars. Oh, yeah, totally. It's like that's what I made. I made Lara bars. You made Lara bars. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Those have so many dates in them usually, but I guess you kind of just use prunes instead of dates. Mm -hmm. That's great. Those would be perfect for like a hike or something. Yeah. I don't taste the bourbon at all. I thought I would, but those prunes just like absorbed it, transformed it. Yeah, I didn't even remember that you did that. Yeah, a quarter yeah. cup of bourbon. I don't smell Gone. it. I don't taste it. Mmm. Yeah, these are really nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm yeah. into that. We'll cheers and wash it down with our berry ginger kombucha. There's a spider in my kombucha. Ah, there's a snake in my boot. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode today. I'm so stoked that we finally got the pruning done. And I'm stoked to have got a little prune snack on the side. Yeah. If you enjoyed this, and even if you didn't, you should check us out on Patreon. There you'll find a bunch of cool extras. We've got all the recipes from Brett's Kitchen, posts throughout the week, behind-the-scenes videos, and other fun stuff. So be sure to check that out, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell here on YouTube so you don't miss the next episode of Desert Dwelling. See you next Tuesday. Bye! Oh my god, even if you don't like us... <laughs> Look at our Patreon. Check us out anyway. Maybe you'll like us after that. <laughs> <laughs>